morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, October 6th, 2022. And we begin with the lucky fan who caught Aaron Judge's 62nd home run ball, the one that broke Roger Maris's American League record, saying he's having a hard time deciding what to do with it. Dallas resident Corey Yeomans was sitting in left field at the Texas Rangers Stadium Tuesday night when he put up his glove and caught the Yankee Slugger's history-making souvenir. He and his son were escorted through the ballpark by security, and when asked by TV station WFAA whether he'll keep the ball, he said, That's a good question. I haven't thought about it. CBS News reports at least one auction house is willing to pay upward of $2 million for the ball. For Judge's part, he says it would be great to get it back, but added they made a great catch out there and they got every right to it. Science may be simpler thanks to the work of three chemists who together won this year's Nobel Prize yesterday. The scientists Carolyn R. Bertozzi and K. Barry Sharpless from America and Morten Meldal from Denmark are credited with creating the click method of connecting molecules. According to the Associated Press, click chemistry is a way of snapping molecules together like Legos and can be used to map cells and design medicines that can target diseases more precisely. This is the second chemistry Nobel Prize for Dr. Sharpless. The Scripps researcher also won in 2001 and is only the fifth person to receive the award twice. As for Dr. Bertozzi of Stanford, she immediately called her father, a retired physicist, when she got the news. She said, Dad, turn down the TV. I have something to tell you. He replied, you won it, didn't you? Bertozzi credits her parents for her success, saying they insisted that she and her two sisters study the sciences. More Nobel Prizes will be announced this week, including the Nobel Peace Prize on Friday. It's a big toy at a big price, but that isn't stopping Marvel fans from swiping up its newest action figure. At 32 inches tall, Galactus, the giant planet eater from Marvel's Fantastic Four, will go for an eye-popping $399.99. It's Hasbro's biggest toy in the superhero line, according to the Washington Post, and designers thought its size would be massive and powerful, but still easy enough to manipulate and play with. Realizing not everyone is willing to pay almost $400 for a toy, Hasbro added it to their HasLab crowdfunding made-to-order program, where they gauge interest in a product before building it. If enough pledge to pay full price, they're charged and the toy goes into production. If not, it doesn't and no one pays. Those who ordered Galactus will receive theirs this fall. Those who missed out will have to find one on secondary sites like eBay. Or they can order the next HasLab offering, which is a 6-inch Robbie Ray's version of Ghost Rider with an almost 19-inch flamed-out muscle car. In other Kid News notes, a gigantic gourd from upstate New York has tipped the scales and toppled records. Over the weekend, the pumpkin weighed in at 2,554 pounds to stake its claim to the heaviest pumpkin ever grown in the U.S., The previous national record was 26 pounds lighter. Is it the heaviest in the world? Not even close. According to Guinness, a farmer in Italy owns that record with a 2,702-pound Whopper grown just last year. That's it for Kid News. Now our Kid News quiz, generously sponsored by the Scripps family of Northport, Michigan, who'd like to say a big happy birthday to Jack, who's turning 12 today. Happy birthday, Jack. Tori and I and the rest of the Kid News team all hope your celebration is top notch. Now today's quiz. Who does Nobel Prize for Chemistry winner Carolyn Bertozzi credit for her success? Her parents who pushed her to study science. How much does the new record holder for heaviest pumpkin in the U.S. weigh? 2,554 pounds. How tall is Hasbro's special order Marvel action figure? 6. Galactus stands 32 inches high. How much has the fan who caught Aaron Judge's record-breaking home run ball been offered already? $2 million. 
In today's Kid News Kicker, another baseball fan took home a home run ball Tuesday night, this one with his teeth. A golden retriever named Renegade was attending Bark in the Park night at City Field Stadium when Mets star shortstop Francisco Lindor belted a home run against the Nationals toward Renegade's right field seat. After a few bounces and some help from his human, Chris Howland, Renegade came up with the ball and the video has gone viral. Howland told MLB.com, It was literally going right for the dogs. Howland didn't want them getting hurt, so he deflected it, then said, I handed it to him and he was cool about it, right? He was holding on to it, chewing on it. Howland says he'll keep the ball on the mantle, slobber and all, as it makes for a great story. Thanks again to the Scripps family of Northport, Michigan for sponsoring today's quiz. Happy 12th birthday, Jack, and a big kid news shout out to the entire 7th grade class of Wildcats at Northport Public School. We also want to give a special kid news hello to Jack's younger brother, Nickel, and all his friends in the 3rd grade at Northport. We're also shouting out Mrs. Worrell and her fifth graders at Blue Stem Elementary in Leon, Kansas. Ms. Alagi's Jaguars at North Loop Elementary in El Paso, Texas. Mrs. Wool's Sea Turtles at Sunset Palms Elementary in Boynton Beach, Florida. Ms. Chow's students at Rice Elementary in Rosemead, California, where she says rice rockets blast off with learning fun. And Ms. Dombeck and her Falcons at Falls Mead Elementary School in Rockville, Maryland. Thanks for listening, everyone, and we'll see you back here for more kid news tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs>